Hello, today we're going to talk about choosing between you start your business as a sole proprietor or as a limited company. And very quickly we're going to go through some pros and cons and then some thoughts on compliance to make sure you keep in mind. So firstly, in general terms, the sole proprietorship is cheaper and quicker to set up. And this is why a lot of people go towards it. Uh, the pros we've got here, it's very quick to set up. Uh, in Hong Kong, for example, you can do it in you know, probably an hour or two hours. And the only external party you use is to go to the Inland Revenue Department uh, to whom you give your forms to. You don't need a lawyer, you don't need a company secretary, etc. The ongoing compliance, there are no company registry filings because it's just a sole partnership. All you need to do is every year uh, renew the business license and that's it. Uh, it keeps going. Uh, Tax-wise, you'll receive a tax uh, form for it, um, but important is you don't need to audit this um, in Hong Kong until the gross revenue is 2 million Hong Kong dollars or above. So those things are very attractive, and what I see people, uh, or the type of people using these are photographers um, or kind of IT freelancers who are formalizing their business as such. It's very much people on their own. The cons, there's only one member. Uh, you can't have this as a, as a joint business with somebody else. It's unlimited personal liability. So you wouldn't want to do any business in here where people may take you to court for quality of product or you know, services provided. Sometimes there's an image issue with this not being a real business. And we find that especially when dealing with suppliers in China, that they don't recognize that this is really real and they treat you as an individual and that often puts up barriers. Likewise, on the customer side, uh, the, the bigger entities may wish to deal with a limited company as opposed to a sole proprietorship. They're not very scalable at all. Um, you know, you can employ people, but by employing people, you're exposing yourself to liability. You know, if they fall over and hurt themselves or they sue you for some reason, you don't have a liability cap here. And the banking and the financing can be complicated. So going out for a, a working capital loan or an overdraft, that's starting to kind of come across into your own personal financial terms. The limited company, uh, on the other hand, has benefits. So the, the key one we see is the separation of liability. You aren't personally liable for the debts, the liabilities, et cetera, of the limited company. Now, as a direct, you have some liability, but it's it's... It's infinitely less than if you're a sole proprietorship. You can have many members, so you can invite a joint venture partner, you can sell shares to other people, you can bring in angel investors, you could give shares to staff. It's a much uh, stronger professional image, and it gives you exit possibilities as well. You know, you can sell the company as a whole to a bigger business who maybe want to enter the market that you're into. And obtaining general financing is, is easy from banks, etc. The cons, well, you often require an external party, maybe not a lawyer, but you'll probably need a company secretary to set up the company. Uh, and on an ongoing basis, there are more forms to fill in each year. There's also the requirement for an orders in Hong Kong each year. And so that does make it a little bit more costly. Um, however, you know, if this is a serious business, then the chances are these costs, which may be 10, 15,000 Hong Kong dollars a year in total, are probably small in comparison to the profits that you're bringing in. So some last points to note, uh, a company has an annual company filing, whilst the sole proprietorship doesn't. They both have tax filing. The audit need is for 2 million and above or in a company always. And remember that uh, you're responsible for all these things, but your liability is greater in a sole proprietorship. Any questions on that, please feel free to get in contact. Thank you.